something I'm missing here. Honestly, I don't know what. Hmm. Oh, I just saw you there. Ooh, the Queen of Sands. I can't believe I missed one. Ah, it makes me mad. The Queen of Sands. When the nightmare of the year of Craven ended, the moon goddess gathered her children to mourn the fall of the keeper. The goddess vowed to protect the rest from corruption. She gathered the keepers and chose the wisest of them to become her champion. She imbued them with her powers, appointing him as king of the keepers. Time is an ever flowing river, and its waters bring change. As the centuries pass, humanity soared on the wings of progress and innovation. As humanity changed, so did their dreams. The goddess understood that change begets change, so she knew the keepers must also adapt. In the year of the silver moon, the goddess descended to earth with a time of purity. The goddess gathered the keepers once more and declared they would have a new leader. The purest among keepers, who was both powerful and well remembered for her own humanity. Thus, the goddess appointed Mab as the Queen of Sands. Alright, what do we got here? Tell what we got. Oh, apparently we've got to go back here. There's Glitter! sure what you want me to do here, game. Oh, a horn. I'm not ready for your horn yet, mister. Alright, mold. Grab everything kind of grayish, silverish. Apparently is the way we'll resolve this particular one. I think we're good. We got more. And, uh, we'll be all set. Ballerina. Looks like we've got two more to go. No morphing objects in this hidden object puzzle, which has been a theme through all of the Dark Parables, even though Epix normally puts them in here. Clearly they've adapted to the booty games format for hidden object puzzles. Well, I mean, hell, they're uh, fragmented, so that's a big thing. Very different from normal Epix games. Okay, let's go ahead and just do the last one there. And we're good to go. Hold it up. Hit me with a mold. And now I have a mold. The best kind of mold. I do have this thing here. Let's go ahead and find out what that does. It's a dolly! I like dollies. I'm gonna put that over here then. And then we have a nice horn. Where the heck did that horn have to go? Ah, yes. Over here, give me back your horn, gargoyle. Now I have a torch and a brass ear. We'll go back here and we can torch up the place first. Oh, gear too, huh? It's all coming together now. Back to the tower workshop we go. So that's gonna go here. And now we have all this stuff too. Oh, maybe it's this stuff. But I don't have the hammer yet. Now I have the hammer. Let's forge up that weapon. Of course, it's a puzzle. Craft the moon goddess amulet by sliding the tiles into the correct position on... So each tower all matches the symbol underneath it. Oh boy. Oh my heavens. 
Well, I mean, there's a bit of space here, but... Yikes! This is gonna be tricky. Uh... Where do you belong, anyways? Uh... Good grief, we're gonna have to move a whole bunch of these things. I know that goes there. Oh, I see. The A's gotta go there. Uh, whew. We need to get this stuff out of the way, though. None of this matches, so this stuff's all gotta move. None of this stuff does move. Holy cow, this is gonna take a while. Uh... This sucker is <laughs> it's gonna get way over there. This game is crazy. Why would they do that? That's insane. Alright, let's see if we can move this thing over there. Holy cow, that's gonna take a while. Uh well, we know this is gonna go here. Nope. All right, so that's good. And then this has got to go here. Whew, uh... So that's got to go there now. Okay, so those two are in place. We'll put that one up there for now. That one's got to go there. We can actually shove that right over there. Upside down A, you go there. This funky looking thing, you go there. And then you go there. A just gotta go way the heck over there. Uh, let's just put this back into place for the time being. Should leave you there. Okay, so H, you gotta go there, but you gotta go there. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, A goes there. That's gotta get out, though. H has gotta go there. Uh, Alright, this is coming together. I mean, it's slowly but surely gonna come together. Now... That one's gonna go... Where the heck does this thing go? I see. Well, let's try to put this together and see where we are here. Uh, another very cool puzzle, by the way. Ah, sneaky, that's gotta go there. Yeah, nice. We now have the crescent frame. We gotta show all this in here too. We're gonna go ahead and fight Mab on the rooftop. It's gonna be awesome. What the heck is this? This is the Luna Amulet. Let's go. Maybe. How nice that you've gathered together for me. Now, face the Queen of Sand's wrath! No way! Uh-uh. I think we just gotta throw it up there, don't we? Whoa! Drag the amulet around the screen to find all the magic runes. Cool, cool. I can live with that. Match the pairs until only the unique runes remain. Uh, okay. Uh, whew. 
tricky. But not impossible. Find the runes in their correct color quadrants by pressing the gold buttons to the left. Ah, uh, what gold button? Oh my goodness. Holy cow, what am I doing? Ah. Uh, so what actually belongs there? This is weird. So I think that one belongs there. Wow, this is something else. I can't even move that anymore. Huh. Uh, need to get the A over there. Alright, this is definitely something special. This is going to take a bit of time. Uh, holy cow, I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Alright, come on, focus, let's do this. Come on. I wish these symbols were just a little bit bigger. So that's eight in that one. I gotta get H over here. So that's not gonna affect H. And that doesn't affect H either. So this must. Okay. Yeah! Woo! Eric! No! You've saved Montefleur, and you've broken my curse. For this, I am eternally in your debt. What have I done? All this suffering, these horrors! As the Baron drained my essence, and evil corruption devoured my mind. But thanks to you, Everything shall be restored. And that's the end of the main game. Queen of Sands, Dark Parables, number nine, thanks to the folks at Big Fish Games, and of course, the wonderful folks at Epix Entertainment. Yay! I liked it. I had a lot of fun with this game. I know that the Dark Parables folks, there's a lot of diehards out there, and you know, there's a kind of a mixed feeling about this, but I personally have enjoyed all the dark, of the Dark Parables made by Epix. I think they have modernized the interface and the mechanics, but still maintain the essence of Dark Parables. But you know what? 
that's my opinion, and we're all entitled to our own opinion, so hey, life is good. But you know what's really awesome about these folks? There's something very special at the end of the credits, and it was tweeted out to me actually before I even started, so it was kind of a, a bit of a spoiler, but still I thought it was very lovely to see that. There is something very, very special, a very special thanks, if you will, at the end of the credits. So we're going to go ahead and hang on here, and we're going to watch all these credits, and then I'm going to kind of point out to you, in a very humble way, how amazing and surprised I was see- I, 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 <laughs> Let's just say that I was shocked to see what Epix is included in the credits. So anyways, well, let's kind of <laughs> let that roll by. We still have to play the bonus chapter, which is what we will do. And uh, I do know that Warfire, she likes to kind of talk about all the different kind of commentary behind these credits. And I think, you know what? Apex definitely has the more entertaining credits of uh, any of the Hopa games I've ever played. They like to put something a little bit extra behind the scenes here with these credits. So kudos to them. All these folks are involved in this process. I played the very first Final Cut, oh geez, I don't know, two, three years ago? I can't even remember now. And that's where it all began. And it's amazing to think of where they started from and to where they are today. And I am happy to have uh, been part of that from the very beginning. So kudos to them. Yay, Epix, way to go. We just love the bonus chapter, which is a whole bunch of Cravens. I can't wait. Woo, Cravens. We're going to play that bonus chapter as well, so st stay tuned for that too. But you know, when I watch these credits, it just makes me realize it does take a lot of people to put together these games. And you know what? The other thing I was thinking about, uh, this is probably something interesting here. Oh, hang on. It's a bear and Goldilocks and all that good stuff. Yay! I mean, that was quite short, actually. Uh, I wanted to show you this one more time, so I'm gonna kinda... I don't even know if I can fast forward. Hang on, just let me pause here for a second. Okay, so this is what I was trying to look at earlier in my excitement. I clicked the wrong button. But check out this special thanks. Like, this is insane! There is no obligation more important than expressing our gratitude to our players, to the fans of Dark Parable series, YouTube reviewers, and especially your gives. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> especially your gives. Like, that is incredible. That's the first time I've ever been mentioned in special thanks. Thanks to all the folks at Epix Entertainment for putting that into your... I, I, I'm beyond words and you know like it's certainly something that I, I never really I'm not in this for this right I'm not in this for the fame this is a hobby of mine and I truly am uh, blessed with the <laughs> opportunity to play a lot of these games and, and have fun with them and have fun with all of you but to see my name like that kind of in the back of the game here in terms of special thanks it is breathtaking so anyways, I want to say thanks again, a special, my own special thanks to all the folks at Apex Entertainment for putting together another fantastic game. I'm going to kind of cut out from here. We're going to go ahead and watch the, or I guess play, the bonus chapter. And all I can say is, I'm speechless. This is really amazing. <laughs> thanks to everyone. Wow! I, okay. Alright, bye. We'll see you next time.